An instant later, Carl and his men came out of the armory carrying rifles, crossbows, and harpoons. This caused panic in the crew who weren't accustomed to guns, monsters, eldritch gods, and extremely mutilated dead bodies. I walked up to Zack, asking, Why did you get the guns? There's something out there. I spotted movement in one of the crashed ships. Shit, did you see what it was? No, but I saw something out there. Here, take my pistol. I already have a shotgun. Zack handed me a very large and heavy pistol. No thanks, I have my sword. I pointed to the sword I always kept on my belt. You got a fucking death wish, Roger? <laughs> Relax, I'm kidding. I just want to use this. I stuffed the huge pistol in my pocket, laughing. You, cover the port! You, starboard! Carl was handing out guns and shouting orders as some of the hired crew and maintenance members not related to the cryptid hunting began an uproar, saying things like, What's going on? What's happening? Why are you guys handing out guns? Are we going to die? I saw Kyle walk up to some of the panicking and demanding people, and he smiled and then said, Uh, hi there. The uh, captain will address your problem shortly, but in the meantime, shut the f- then we heard a screech around a hundred meters away from us as I instantly tightened my grip on my sword machete hybrid. Everyone made a tight circle, one man facing every side of the ship. I glanced around and looked at some of the people who were holding weapons. Zack held his enormous shotgun while Alex held his enormous elephant rifle propped up on a wooden box, aimed at the fog. George held a pistol and a bowie knife, having a knack for melee combat. One of the other marine cryptid hunters held a crossbow tipped with explosive compounds. I held my long trusty sword. Honestly, I felt very underarmed. While the other crew members and monster hunters held giant rifles, knives, machine guns, snipers, and harpoon rifles, I held a sword because I was drunk and wanted to use a sword like a total idiot. If something bigger than a Wendigo attacked, I was screwed. We all stayed silent, holding our weapons and waiting for something to happen. When a loud piercing screech erupted in the air, and we all realized there was something out there. From where I stood, I could see something large move around in a ship about 50 meters away from us. Over there, I said. Zack pointed his tactical shotgun at the destroyed boat. Without warning, a large half-human creature leaped onto the ship, screeching its lungs out. Over fucking there, Zack! I screamed. Instantly, it was reduced to shreds and pieces by our weapons. I did feel pretty powerful when I gratifyingly sliced the creature's arm off when it swiped at me. I instantly recognized the creature. Its lower body that consisted of tentacles hanged limply. It was an angler. Oh shit! I said. It's what I think it is, right? Yeah, yeah said Ben and Zack. What the f- Without warning, a dozen anglers crawled up onto the boat, screeching and swiping their arms and tentacles. Kyle cackled with delight, shooting several anglers and kicking them into the water as he ran around, shooting his gun and achieving his ultimate goal of inflicting as much pain as possible. An angler's tentacle grabbed my throat and I sliced it off, facing the creature. This one was a big motherfucker. Standing 12 feet tall, it glared at me with its non-existent eyes and screeched. It swiped at me with one of its enormous clawed hands, faster than I could slice its arm off, and I was thrown into a pile of wooden crates. <coughs> Damn it! I looked at my bloody chest. That's gonna leave a few scratches. Oi, get up, kid, said George, pulling me up. I'm 25. How many even are there? Behind you! I spun around, swinging my sword and slicing an angler's head off in an explosion of blood. Its decapitated body slumped to the floor. And I had to say, on land, they were slow as hell. That was a close one, George said. And a nice shot. Guess I was wrong about the stupid fucking sword. He shot an angler that was climbing the ship. A perfect headshot. Zack was smashing the butt of a shotgun into an angler's face when he shot into the water while I ran to the starboard side, stabbing off anglers off the side of the ship with my sword. They were horrible and nasty. And worst of all, their blood smelled like dead teenagers. You'll find out how I know that in the next one. Just keep up with this. Out of nowhere, an angler that still had both of its limbs grabbed me and pulled me into the water. 
Now, I don't say this lightly. The water was cold. Like, really cold. I just about had a heart attack. And before I could scream shit, I was dragged underwater. Then the angler that was holding me let me go. You know, most movies that have characters' point of views have overly exaggerated visibility in water, without any kind of water goggles. So the only thing I could see were dark blue moving masses in the water circling me. And once I recovered from shock, I took out the pistol Zack had given me, and I fired at one of the masses. Usually bullets don't hit very hard underwater, but the pistol Zack had given me was fully functional in any circumstances, so I was very, very glad when the creature recoiled and went limp when the bullet hit them. I still had my prized sword in my other hand somehow. I was almost out of breath, and I honestly didn't know a person could survive that long in freezing conditions. Zack lowered a rope, and I shakingly grabbed it, and he pulled me up as I fell face first onto the deck. 